World opinion is divided on the importance of having a free press, according to a poll conducted for the BBC World Service in December 2007. Of those interviewed, 56% thought that freedom of the press was very important to ensure a free society, but 40% said it was more important to maintain social harmony, even if it meant curbing the press's freedom to report news truthfully. Only about a third of people in Britain actually gave positive ratings to either publicly or privately funded news organisations. Recent press coverage of Luton's youth has shown both positive and negative reports, which has created varying opinions of the local and national press concerning the portrayal of young people. You, see, you seem to see more of the negative things about the youth of today rather than the positive. Because if you get the press saying that students and well, young teens are n negative, then everyone's just going to think it anyway. Yeah. You know, all, all, all we get put in the press nowadays is bad stuff that youth of today does. You know? Bad press is good press, you know, if a, if a story is bad and someone's in trouble, it sells papers. Whereas if someone does good for the, uh, for the town, no one really wants to read about it or hear about it. I think that we get a very bad press when there's a lot of very good youngsters about. Having got a granddaughter and a grandson that both go to church and do wonderful things with their friends, um, I think it's really very bad. People are, are, are quite scared of young people because of they, they get this image of hoodies and so forth, and people aren't like that. My job is to support young people. We do some excellent stuff. It doesn't get reported as well as the negative. Negative things sell newspapers. Fear of crime is more today than ever it has been, and that's because of the media drumming up th things that are happening. I think um, not just the news, newspapers, because I think a lot less people read newspapers now, but certainly with Sky TV, Five News, um, the BBC, um, stories about young people are ne very rarely positive. A lot of them are really, really negative. And I think it's only when a young pe person is outstanding that they're actually noticed by the media at all. Because I think that actually we have a very negative image of our young people in this country and I think personally that we don't like our young people very much and that we treat them accordingly and I think there's a very different perspective when you go to Europe where you actually see young people positively engaged in community life and actually positively engaged in all aspects of society and I think it's that's a lesson that we could be learning in this country because if young people don't feel safe and they don't feel that people really pay attention to them that's a very negative thing, they are actually going to start arming themselves with knives and guns and when you see it all in the media it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy really. I think it's hugely important that we start addressing those issues with young people. Unfortunately the press declined to be interviewed or to give comment for this film. However, local people gave their opinions on how the perceptions of young people can be improved in the press. I think uh, we could improve the perception of young people by um a bit more positive stories, maybe uh, stories made by young people themselves. So if young people get more involved in setting the agenda of the media, then they're, they're more likely to come out more positively. Um, just like more and more positive things in the newspapers and more awards and things like that. And let people nas nationally know that people aren't just going out to stab people or kill people or anything like that.